Welcome to Sam's Watch Review. I hope you're all doing well. Here we have two units of W217H variant 1AV. This new one belongs to a friend and this one is my old watch. It's been almost 3 years now. Here we also have an F91W that we will use as comparison. By the way, in case you're still new to this channel, please support us by clicking subscribe. Thank you. Okay, the key features of this watch are large digits, awesome LED backlight, and 50 meters water resistance. The battery is CR2016, claimed to last for 7 years, and accuracy is claimed to be around 30 seconds per month. We will include the details in the description. The size of the case is medium, length is 43.1 mm, width is 41.2 mm, and thickness 10.5 and for the total weight is only 32 grams. It's larger than F91W but still not oversized. And it's proportional to medium sized wrist. Now let's look in more details. The case or bezel is made of resin. The crystal is resin glass so it's prone to scratches. On the left side there are two buttons, start stop and mode. And this is the right side with one button, light, and here is the connection to the strap. The position of the buttons are slightly different from the F91W, swapping the start-stop button and the light button positions. I think it's more convenient for the light button to be pressed with the index finger, but it's a bit clumsy when it comes to the stopwatch feature. The start stop button is at your thumb. For the back, using a stainless steel back plate with 4 screws, engraved with the module code 3454, watch series, water resist spec, and manufacturing location. One more advantage of this series, the water resist is 5 bar or 50 meters, and it's better than the F91W which is only water resist, meaning about 3 bar or 30 meters. Strap material is polyurethane resin or PUR, lug width is 18mm using spring bars, and to remove it, we can pry from the button. This type of connection is different from the F91W which uses pins, so it's easier to remove and install and also easy to find spare pins when needed. For strap details, this is the buckle side, and this is the underside. This is the tail side, and this is the underside. And here is the buckle, made of plastic. A little note, on the old watch, which is 3 years old, the loop broke, so I replace it with a generic spare loop. Compared to the F91W, this strap is longer, so it can be used for larger wrist circumference. Here is the front display, for this variant, there is a blue frame line, classic styling like the F91W. On the LCD, we can see alarm icon, hourly signal, then PM or 24 hours, to the right, day and date, and below, hours, minutes, and second. If we take a look at the digits, it's way bigger and thicker than the F91W, so it's a lot easier to read. Next, here is the cool stuff, the backlight or illuminator. The segment or digit looks lit, awesome and it's brighter and much easier to read than the F91W. Moving on, to check the LCD, we press all buttons, all segments will appear. Then, for the Casio check, press Start Stop button on the top left and hold it. The word Casio will appear on the screen. Next, for the available modes, first is timekeeping. To move from AM PM to 24 hours and vice versa, press the upper left button or start stop. Then alarm mode and hourly signal. We can set which one is active, alarm, hourly signal, both on or both off. Next the stopwatch mode. The start stop button is on the top left and to reset we can use the light button on the right. And lastly adjust mode, the light button to switch parameters and start stop button to change parameters value. 
in general, these functions or modes are exactly the same as the F91W. Next, I will open the 3 years old watch. And this is the inside of the backplate. The white patch is buzzer speaker that makes the beep sound. And the black rubber ring is the water seal ring. And this is the module. Let's try to remove it. Cool, quality build, doesn't look cheap. And this is the inside of the case, also well made, very nice. And these are the pusher buttons, they have spring mechanism inside. It's been 3 years and still looks good, awesome. Okay, now I will put it back together. Let me put it on my wrist, as a reference, my wrist size is about 17.5 cm. It looks proportional, the styling is also cool, classic like the F91W but looks more solid with its larger size. For the pros, first, it's easy to read screen, big digits and great backlight. Second, it has a retro styling which is cool. And third, it's lightweight and comfortable to wear. On the other side, it has a resin crystal, so it's prone to scratches. And this one actually has a lot of scratches, but I've cleaned it up using PolyWatch. Second, the strap durability is not the best. The loop on my watch has already been broken, and I hope that the strap doesn't catch up soon. And third, it might be a bit oversized for small wrist like 15cm or 6 inch. I'd say an F91W will suit better. In my opinion, this one is a watch for many uses, easy to read, comfortable to wear and tough enough, also suitable for anyone who won the F91W style with larger size and better features. If I were asked to choose between F91W or W217H, overall the F91W for more iconic watch and W217H for better features. By the way, Casio also released some new series of W217H with more vibrant colors and there are also B650 series which basically a similar watch but with stainless bracelets. That's all for this review, don't forget to subscribe, stay safe, see you in the next video, bye!